Welcome to this lesson. We are looking at how to add three single digit numbers horizontally. So let's assume we are given three plus five plus six. What are the alternatives that we have? The first alternative we have is to first of all add the first two numbers. So 3 plus 5, you get 8. And then to this, you add this 6, so that 8 plus 6 becomes 14. Okay. Let's try another equation. If you're given 8 plus 6 plus 7, how do you solve for this? 8 plus 6, 14 plus 7, 21. Okay. The other alternative that we have is to use a number line. Now remember, a number line is just a number with sequential numbering. So, assuming we are given a numbering, a number line like this one, so we have 0, 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay? Assume it goes on. Now if you are told to use a number line to solve the equation three plus five plus two, how would you do it? So you move three steps from zero. One, two, three. After that, you move five steps. One, two, three, four, five. And then finally, you move two steps. One, two. So it means that your final answer is 10. Okay. Now, the other option that you have when you are asked to do the addition is to use objects. Now you can use an object of your choice. You can use dots, circles, sticks, any shape, whether it's a triangle or anything, or even a fruit, anything that you like, okay? So if you're given, for example, five plus four plus three, if I were to use sticks, I would say one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then, all I will do is count. So when I'm looking for my answer, I'll just say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So my answer must be 12. Okay. Now, the concept is the same whether the numbers are presented horizontally, like they are here, or vertically. That's to say, if you're to have five, four, three, the concept will be the same, okay? So if I were to use, let's assume circles, okay? I'll just say one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, I get 12, okay? Now, let's try and solve for the following. If you're told five plus eight plus three, how would you solve that? Now, remember, you have various options. The first one is to group the first two numbers. So you can have, as well I've said, five plus eight, you get 13. 13 plus three, you get 16. The second option that you have is to use a number line. So with a number line, all you need is to draw the line and then you just have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Let's do up to eighteen, okay? So all you have done is you first look at the five. So jump five steps. One, two, three, four, five. And then you say plus eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then finally you deal with the three. One, two, three. So your final answer becomes 16. Now your third alternative is to use objects. So 5 plus 8 plus 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 plus 3. 1, 2, 3. So all you do is now count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You get 16. So any of these methods gives you the same answer. That is the end of our lesson today.